just in case you didn't catch my other video, right? I want to say a special thank you to all my storm chasers. We made it to AK. Baby, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep pushing and We're going to keep doing what it do, baby. So to my storm chasers, honey, storm chasers, mount out. Baby, here go the disclaimer. We ain't going to take a long time doing it. Section 107, fair use. This is my content. This is my opinion. This is my platform. We're going to do what it do, baby. Baby, I had to take a minute to talk about Jasmine. Because when I tell you it's a lot going over there with Jasmine, baby, it's a lot going over there with Jasmine. I don't even know where to start, so we're going to jump right in it. First off, honey, you is obsessed with Peach McIntyre. Woo-wee. Let me stop for a second, y'all, and let me say what I got to say real quick. Honey, you done went over here and you done said you about to start window shopping because you got inspired by Peach. Baby, you going to start doing window shopping shit. Girl, let me tell you something about shopping. People don't want to see you go grocery shopping with you while you're buying processed foods and buying your man good food to eat with your kids' food stamps. Don't nobody want to definitely see you doing no window shopping, honey. Because, honey, let me just say one thing, my dear. Window shopping, okay, is something that I very rarely do, all right? If I'm going to go shopping, I'm going to buy. There might be something that I may see and say, hey, I'll wait till it drop a little bit. But, baby, nobody wants to walk around where you was uh, miss scanning and, and shit like that at uh, five below. So we know if you go somewhere upscale that you can't afford it. So you ain't doing nothing but window shopping. You ain't going to never go back and get it. You, uh, honey, nobody's interested. Let me just say that. Let me dry it out. Ain't nobody interested in your fashion and your hair and your nothing. So I don't understand why you would even steal that idea from her. But then, baby, you start making shorts. Talking about you a blessing. I'm a blessing. Oh, goodness. Is this on repeat? Because we done seen Peach do that, but two or three times telling her audience that. Then you came with it. Baby, Jasmine, can you ever be original? Can you ever have a brain of your own? Like, girl, let me just say something. Don't get on here saying that we are, you know, blessed to be watching you. Honey, this is a whole public platform. A fool and a boo-boo can get up here and put up a damn video. There's nothing a blessing about you. What you need to do is go to your man and tell him that he should start treating you like a blessing because he treats you like crap. You should start telling your children, okay, hey, I'm sorry, you guys are my blessing because guess what I do? I make videos of pretending to be involved with you and then I put them on the internet and I get paid for it. I get paid to sit out here and not get my baby's hair cut so he can have those, you know, uncooked ramen noodles and refried beans on the top of his head. I get paid for getting on here and telling people my business of my children, like telling people, hey, Caitlin, she doesn't have good body hygiene and she gets bullied at school for it because, you know, they say she's musty. And, you know, I also get paid for getting on here and pretending to be doing you guys' hair, but I'm really just taking all your edges out. I also get paid to get on here and let Chris talk shit about you on camera and do things to you so that people can react on it. Like, thank you. You're, you're my blessing. That's what you really should be saying. Uh -huh. You should be thanking them because without them, you wouldn't have a channel, okay? And uh, honey, without your shenanigans, you wouldn't even have a leg to stand on. No one is logging in to watch My Jazzy Life go grocery shopping or no one is logging in to say, oh, I really wonder what Jasmine is doing this week. Everybody is like, oh, it's a train wreck. It's a conversation, so let's go watch. So let's just make that very clear, okay? You have nothing on your cha channel that is educational, that has taught anybody anything, or, or could ever do that. I mean, more or less, you are more of a video of like, this is your brain. And then somebody does something on your channel, it's like, this is your brain on drugs, okay? <laughs> All right. Now, let's switch gears really, really quick, because, honey... I don't know if y'all seen that video where she was cleaning out that moldy shower. Baby, I got to talk about that for a minute. You was on camera. You cleaned out your shower. It was full of mold. It was disgusting. It was dirty. It was crusty. It was crummy. It was the sickest shower I have ever seen. Honey, it looked it disgusting. Cleaning that is something that would have never gotten that stuff out. You need to go get you some mold cleaner. Honey, you might have some mushrooms growing up in the corner of that shit. You never know. But then this girl gets on here and tells her daughter to pick a roach up on camera. Baby, I seen it. Baby, I seen it. She's talking about, it's over there. It's right in front of you. It's crawling on the floor. Step on it. Pick it up. Then when the baby say, well, where did it come from? I don't know. I don't know. Girl, you knew where them roaches came from. They came from your kitchen cabinets. It came from all the crumbs under the cabinets. It came from your home. It's something that was produced and been produced. It's something that has grown with you for years. 
Jasmine, I don't understand why you act like every apartment or every home that you have had has not had roaches. Honey, once you get roaches and you move that same furniture into another apartment, them same beds and everything else, you just brought them with you. So to sit there on camera, tell your child to pick the roach up and then pretend like you don't know where it came from. Baby, it blew me out the water. I was like, y'all, look at Roger over there telling this baby to pick this roach up. Oh, my God. I Jasmine, this y'all, let me just keep it real. This is what blows me with these women. That how can you get on here and know you got mo roaches and a man that don't want you and then still get on here and act as though everything is okay? I mean, damn, like I said, somebody called Tyler Perry because they got a whole bunch of actors over here. Honey, the first and foremost, let me tell you something about Jasmine. I'm gonna keep it real, y'all. Jasmine has talent. She has editing talent, but she don't have the brain to produce good content. That's the problem. She doesn't have the brain and she doesn't have the home training to produce good content. Jasmine, as long as you have been out here, the promos, the specials, everything that you run, your uh, sub count and everything, you should be way ahead on your platform. You're claiming that you got 50 plus thousand subscribers over there, but you can't get 5,000 views. Then you got little old me over here. I got 8,000 subs and I can get 30, 40,000 views. So it does not make sense. Jasmine, your content is trash, okay? Your editing skills are great. You were out here giving classes, you were out here doing this, and you failed and you flopped at all of it. You should be way ahead of the game with money, sponsors, and with subs than what you are. That's the problem. With the skills that you have, you should have been crushing the competition, but you can't even catch up with Olivia, who does nothing but sit on camera and breathe and eat, so that should tell you something maybe that's a word to the wise maybe like you said your channel oh well there's no drama so my views are down girl nobody watch you because of drama because every time drama comes on you like i said you a tough tony that then folds into baloney nobody's watching you because of drama you didn't put out none of olivia's business you got on here crying the only person you ever cussed out on your platform was your mama and that made you look like a shame but anywho anywho baby it's a lot going on then we got chris Oh, we're going to do a whole video about Chris tomorrow, okay, because it's Messy Monday. But we got all that stuff going on with Chris, and then you a bad bitch. Girl, please. Yeah, bad body bill. Ooh, let me stop. Y'all, I'm going to see y'all in the comments.